Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it again. What a stunning location. And just wait while you see this amazing property. Today we're in the beautiful town of Colle di Mezzo. Colle di Mezzo, hill in the middle, I think it translates to. Look how stunning this church is. So picturesque this village, it really is. Has all the basic facilities, post office, pharmacist, mini market, church bells. <laughs> On cue every time. What time are we on now? Morning still. Look how beautiful this is. I showed you briefly the village from the outside at the intro of the of the video, and it's uh, it is just a stunning place. It really is. You're also really close to other towns and villages such as Villa Santa Maria is the city of chefs. It's not really a city, it's a town. That's five minutes down the road. Montiferrant, which is up in the hills here, with an amazing view over Lake Bomba that's, be, that's behind us at the moment, well, over the, over the top of the town. It's just stunning here. And again, I always say it, this is the heartbeat of Abruzzo. This type of this type of town. Amazing. Absolutely love these places. Just out of the village, so a couple of minutes drive out the village is on the main superstrada that takes you in one direction to the ski resorts and the other direction to the coast. So you're about 25 minutes, if that, from the beautiful coastline, the Trabocchi coastline. What a great place. And the house, actually, I can see from here. I don't know if I can see it on that. I'm going to have to start and bring my glasses. But there's a white property up here with some windows open and some roofs. Some, some roofs. Some balconies in the roof. That's the property. It's a huge place. And what a bargain. I love this place. You're so close to many many attractions around the lake you're so close to the coast you're, you're just close to everything public transport there is some public transport if you're solely reliant on public transport it may be a little bit harder for you to get around but it's certainly not impossible and there's a new train line that they're opening up uh, next to the lake but you would still have to come out of the village to get down to that but to be honest with you you really you should be having your own transport when you're in Abruzzo because there's so much to see. Great local bar. Nobody's going to be sat on the tables outside today because it's quite warm. We're in the morning. I think it's sunny around 10. I actually filmed the house before this because it was so, uh, so warm today, but beautiful. What a great atmosphere. Imagine in the evening time here. What a stunning place. I love the, obviously the outskirts of the towns always have the modern buildings, but it works here. I quite like the mix of the modern and then the old where we are. And once again, typical of Abruzzo towns, look how spotlessly clean it is. People have pride in their villages. Brilliant. Just quickly, quickly show you another little part of the old town. Heading towards the church. This is the, the council offices here. I love the atmosphere. I love the, the noise of coffee cups and wine bottles opening. Old guy here on his uh, on his motorbike. Who needs a helmet?
Look how beautiful it is down here. Well, I keep saying it about things being clean, but it's a joy to walk amongst these streets because people, as I say, take pride and take care of things. And, and this, for me, is what Italy is all about. This is why I love living in Italy and why I love to live in Abruzzo. It's places like this. I don't need the tourist spots. I don't need the fridge magnet brigade. <laughs> shop after shop of frig fridge magnets. I don't need that. This is what I need. We're in August now, so it's the height of Festa time. This is Colo di Mezzo. Look at all the festas they have. 29th of July, 3rd of August, 5th of August, 9th of August, 12th. Loads of different things going off. Just like all the, the other towns and villages around Abruzzo. You're making me do some walking today, aren't you? I'm now going to climb this other set of stairs. But I want to show you this church. And look, they're carrying on this beautiful paving. Carrying on down there into the older part of town. But the property we're going, we're going to see we're going to see, we're going to see, is a, it's not an old property, but the great thing is you can drive to it, it has a garage, it has a garden, it has two terraces, it has, I don't know how many balconies, loads of rooms, it's habitable, what else can I say, it has views that you just wait while you see them, and at the price it is, <laughs> you're going to be blown away. It's an absolutely amazing property. Let's show you a little bit more of this terrace area. Stunning. I've said it again. It is absolutely So the village centre that, uh, that I've just saw, shown you is literally just down here and to the left, two minute walk, but just look at some of the views you start to get as we, uh, as we start getting up to this, uh, this incredible property. So obviously this is the centre of Colli di Mezzo where we are, and then you have in the background you have Villa Santa Maria, it's a brilliant town. And then hid behind a rock, I don't know, this screen's quite small, so I, can't, I think you should be able to make out a big rock here. There's a town actually built up against that um, that is absolutely stunning. I've got that word in quick. Uh, called Pietra Ferrazzana. And then you have hilltop towns all over the place. I don't know if you could, there's one up here as well on, on the hills, Monte Ferrante. There's so many different towns and villages. And then just down at the bottom of here, just at the top of the roof, you've got the main road that takes you to the, to the coast. So you're talking 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and you're by the coastline. It's absolutely stunning here. And what a property I've got for you today. Now the sun is right in my eyes, but this is incredible. So basically what you get is this garage at the bottom where the owner of the house, that, that's his version of hiding out of the way. <laughs> all of the, all of this white building, all the way to the back, there's a garden at the back, there's two terraces, balconies. Just wait while you see this one. What a bargain property this is. And there's so much potential here because it's habitable in parts, and then there's parts to, uh, to extend on. And the views, well, what can I say? You know what I can say. I'm actually quite speechless with this one. I really am. I mean, look at the size of the property here. Huge, huge, huge. And again, this location is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, so the property, there's a couple of entrances. There's one here that you can get to all of the house. But then it can actually be, have two entrances at this side. So you go up these stairs at the bottom, and I'll show you when we get up there, how it can be split into different units if, need, if needs be. So it could be one huge property, or split into two, three units. So that's the great thing about this, uh, this property. Obviously there's gas, there's uh, electric, there's everything here. It's all, all mains. So coming in at ground level, we have the usual uh, marble staircase, which is, which is brilliant. And this is a, a great size garage, which the guy's got his car in. So it's, uh, it's actually a tiled space as well. Quite a long, uh, quite a long garage. You can't see it properly because it's uh, obviously it's got this this car here, but it's certainly big enough. Hopefully, there's enough light in here for you to to get this, and then there's space at the back as well. So it is quite a quite a good size good size garage, and there's water down here as well. Okay. So moving, I've already been warned by the owner that it's a new car, so I've got to be careful. Probably because when I opened this door the first time, I bumped into his car, but there you go. I don't think he was watching me at the time. <laughs> anyway, up the stairs we go. Now here, we have one room. This is where you have to start thinking about how you would lay the house out, what you would do. This is a great size room. It could be another bedroom. Maybe you could have a bathroom in the corner, because there's a, a window there. Somebody's doing work just as I do the filming, as usual. Look at this beautiful view. Absolutely superb. Again, you can see the neighbouring town of Villa Santa Maria. There's shutters on the windows, and these windows are also double glazed. This is a great size, great size room. So this could then lead to the rest of the house. I'll show you how it all works, obviously, as we go around. Try and keep it as simple as possible. And this is another door leading to the outside. Now beyond this wall is another room that's like a cantina at the moment, but it could be connected into here. Maybe you could have a bathroom, maybe you could have more living space. So this could become almost like a mini apartment with its own entrance. Okay, so I'm now coming out of the apartment and I'll show you these great views. So this is one of the terraces. Just look at these stunning views again. There's so much outside space to this place. Absolutely beautiful. Nothing like drill noise when you're doing a video. <laughs> the little cafe bars and things, I don't know if you can make them out, just down, down there where we were a little bit earlier in the video. And this, so this uh, part of the house, you get up the stairs that I showed you from the bottom. And basically, you walk along this area. Now this is the top of the garage that belongs to somebody else. But nobody comes up here, that's, you could, all of this is yours, this is all private. So people that own this property are allowed through this gate to go into their gate. In fact, there's a gentleman coming up now. Probably coming wondering what on earth I'm doing. Or he's tending to his chili plants, one or the other. And then, look at the size of this place. All these different balconies balconies out the front there's so much so if you came in from this level if you wanted to split them all up into mini apartments or something like that that's the other room I was telling you about this is a storage room I'll see if I can get them to open that later 
that this could have its own terrace go through there you got the room I showed you to the right and then potentially you could build into the left or you could just make it part of the main the main house but then you have sort of another property here with its own entrance and its own terrace up here so let's head up there now so glad we're in the shade a little bit it's early morning and it's uh, it's quite warm the sun will be over us very soon it's just starting to come onto, onto some of the terraces but just look again at this amazing space I love this property I really do and then you can go up here round the back of the house and you have a, have a garden up here as well that I'll show you uh, from above and I absolutely love this little this little terrace area imagine all this tiled and and it comes out from the kitchen because there's a great kitchen in here then you'll see shortly this is the project part this is the future part if you like that can be that can be developed that I'll show you that once we get in the house but this terrace imagine having a bit of a an outdoor kitchen here look you've even got a fireplace here you can cook meats direct on the grill on the flames how cool is that absolutely love it and this view it's just not going to come across on the video it will a little bit but when you're here it's just amazing and you just get a glimpse i don't know if you can see it to the left of the church right about here you just get a glimpse of uh, of lake bomber and down here if you can see it i don't know if i'm pointing to the right place because it's quite small the screen but just here you can see a tunnel that's the that's the road part of the, the the fast road that takes you down to the coast brilliant location there is public transport that passes at the bottom and there'll be some buses that come through the town but it is the kind of place where really you do need a car plus to appreciate all, all the places around it would be such a shame not to uh, not to have a, a car and then here you have a place where you could store wood you can see a little bit of the garden at the back great for growing some uh, tomatoes and things like that there's a few fruit trees up there you can see fig trees this looks like a peach tree and then you have these other little stages here in the garden it could be really really special okay so Let's uh, let's go inside this one. I'm excited again. I just can't believe how much you get for the money. So heading in to the house, I have another quick look at that uh, amazing view. Now there is no electric on at the moment, but hopefully, hopefully it's light enough to you to uh, to get the idea. But this is a a great space. A great uh, fireplace I'll tell you about that in a second and then look at this open plan kitchen living dining room but you could also have a living room in another room there's so many so many things that you can do here absolutely brilliant and again I know I keep saying it but for this price, superb. And the kitchen's in, in quite good condition. Yeah, the oven's a little bit older. The kitchen's old, but it's in, uh, it's in good condition. Very good condition. And obviously, the fridge in there. You can get a bigger fridge in there if, uh, if needs be. But it's just really good to see an open space because you don't see that often in the in the older properties the original property i think finished where this fireplace is um, 
but then they've done work to the front and uh, just superb love it then we have a little bathroom here I'd probably be tempted to make this um, maybe somewhere for the washing machine that's in there this fireplace this is what they call a thermal camino a thermal camino is the idea is when you have a fire that it doesn't just heat up this room it has a pump attached to it and it will basically you open up these levers and it will do all the radiators and hot water in the house so it's a fantastic system it works on gas but then if you think one night you know what I'm gonna light the fire then while you're burning the wood it may as well be heating the whole house up so that's a superb superb system as I say it does have a boiler as well okay let's go into the let's have one more quick look I'm trying to swing round slowly because people have said that sometimes my videos are a bit juddery so I'm turning slowly <laughs> I forgot my handle for the camera so I'm doing it by hand I don't know how it's gonna come out anyway I'll show you up here shortly but this that leads to two bedrooms and a bathroom now this doesn't get complicated but <clears throat> this is where I need to explain a little bit down here is that other room that's down that I went to to first uh, so just down these stairs and then on the left there's the there's the room that I showed you so that could be a bedroom down there and you could maybe have a bathroom down there then you have <coughs> this room which could be again it could be a bedroom it could be a lounge it could be whatever you want it to be and they're really light big windows and another window there so again if you did want to if you wanted this to be a bathroom you could have an ensuite maybe in that corner uh, for me this works out works possibly as a lounge because you've got two bedrooms going up in the um, uh, in the room uh, from from this room going upstairs which I'll show you then you've got potentially another bedroom down there so that's already three then you've got more rooms to develop upstairs could be wherever you want it to be <clears throat> excuse me I have a frog in my throat look at this look at that for a view and this balcony is a great size as well even though you've got lots of terraces anywhere I'm sure somebody watches me and waits while I come outside to start drilling again this is a brilliant balcony. Look at that for a view. Absolutely. It is stunning. It's simply stunning. That's again is the little area where the bar was. Or where the bar is. Love it. I think that view is worth uh, is worth the money for this property okay again just to throw another idea I know sometimes people don't like it when I give the ideas but if you close this door off you could keep this stairwell and the potential development that's up here could all be an independent area and you, you could just live on this part on this floor and with the two bedrooms at this side so this is the older part of the house it may get a little bit dark as we go up here but let's give it a try okay you can start to see some of the old look at the old original stairs brilliant so this does need some work to update it but for what you're getting for the price it's just unbelievable good great size double bed with a little balcony then you get another double bedroom this is the owners again uh, 
hiding <laughs> hiding and staying quiet and that's a little garden look at that brilliant and then the views once again unbelievable and there's another little balcony here as well and these are good sized good sized double rooms I would say the other one's slightly bigger than this one but remember this also has a, a five door wardrobe in here and there's still plenty of space then it has a bathroom to the left this is the only bathroom in the house at the moment but hey for this price you've got plenty or some of you may have plenty in the budget to uh, to put another couple of bathrooms in but this again is a good size has everything in here and it is basic habitable you can use this with no problem at all so that is the the main part of the house as it is at the moment the habitable part let's go back down the stairs and i'm going to show you the development area i do love this brilliant okay so going up the stairs remember that down there we have another room that could be a bedroom um, and then up here now is the development part so down there bedroom uh, there's a storage room you could break into if you wanted to and there's then there's the garage at the very bottom on this floor we have potentially a lounge plus the big kitchen diner small toilet area up the stairs bathroom and two beds all in great condition and then let's see what the future could hold this is in what we call grezzo which means the structure's done but it needs to be fixed up i'm going to open some windows up and then i'll show you this okay so this is coming up where i've just come up from i've opened a few windows so this is what greds on means where the structure and it's a strong structure as well being done uh, really well and some of the pipe works being put in some of the electric pipes are ready to go just the owners didn't need any more space brand new boiler and that works the whole house as well and again these windows great condition they are double glazed and they do have shutters the only thing that it needs I would say is fly screens look again at these views oh my god they're so good and here's the terrace area again there's the upper terrace and then the garden to the back come on folks you've got to tell me we've really hit this one on the head again haven't we, with this place <laughs> so what would you do tell me would all this be one big house or would you split this up that first room that we went into that's underneath us could maybe be a, a kitchen diner maybe this would be a bedroom and then there's another bedroom upstairs maybe the kitchen diner's here there's so many options of this place or you may do nothing you may think you know what i don't need all the space maybe for future maybe children grandchildren may say well we'll do this part up and look look again at this <laughs> makes me want to cry oh my word cue church bells how idyllic is this beautiful location there's some incredible places around here you know people always say that they, they hear the enthusiasm in my voice you can't help but be enthusiastic about abruzzo because well look at it this is real italy folks all these places that we do on the videos whether it's sulmona area whether it's this area they're just they're just mind-blowing and I've been traveling around and recently as well been to Umbria and Tuscany and all great places. But for me, Abruzzo is uh, 
I better stop. I'm getting emotional. Can you see the lake as well? Just on top of that. Anyway, back to this room. Great size room again. Could be whatever you need it to be. Give me some ideas in the comments. I do like when people write what they would do. I think it's great. So here is ripe to lay all the, well, some of the electric pipes are already in. Some of the switches are already here. Usually you would say to consider maybe 600 euros per square meter to finish a place like this off. Maybe a bit less because the windows are already in. But it's always good to overthink. So the marble finishes here. Then you can, once the, the, the wires and everything are in, you can put whatever you like on. And we've missed the, no railings on this bit. And then, it's a little bit lower here because you're un underneath, the, uh, underneath the roof. But I'm six foot one, still get around with no problem. Another balcony. And again, you see better the garden goes up to the hedge at the top. You could really do something special with that, with that garden, really could. Then what would you do up here? Little studio, bedroom, office, who knows? And again, another balcony. And these views just get better. I know it's the same view, but... Oh my word. What a property. What a property. What a price. Tell me what you think, folks. I think we've knocked it out of the park once again. You tell me. Let's get to our final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this one. I'm blown away. I wish the lights were on here because I don't know if the camera's picking it up well enough, but there you go. It's just unbelievable value for money. And it's so much room for development. So many rooms, but yet you've got so many habitable rooms. So there's no rush with it. You can grow into it. Beautiful location. 25 minutes, if that, from the coast. And it's an easy drive because it's a superstrata drive. Then in the opposite direction, heading inland, you get to the number one ski resort, Rocarasso, which at the moment takes probably about 40 minutes. But they're finishing off part of the road, the superstrata road, where it dips into Molise. And once that's done, that will take 10 minutes off, off of that. It's due to be completed, I think, within the next couple of years. It's a huge project that they're well into. And then it goes on to Naples. Once that road's open, two hours, you'll be in Naples. Yes, public transport, a little bit less from these villages. So if you're reliant 100% on, on uh, public transport, it may not be the right property for you have to study a little bit the, the train, the uh, bus times and things like that. But there is also a train line that they've reopened at the bottom that runs near the lake. I'm not sure yet where that's going to be going, but it, it starts heading toward Castel del Sangro and then from there you can get to Naples on the buses and things like this. I think the, it would be a little bit more difficult, you just have to get to know the, the public transport, but certainly not impossible. But again, when you're in Abruzzo you need a car, you need to explore everywhere. Abruzzo is not just one town. The, 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 the amazing thing about Abruzzo is what is every, it, all these little towns and villages and then the bigger towns, they're just fantastic. And people say, why, why is it so cheap? Why, there must be something wrong with the area and all that. There's nothing wrong with the area, it's amazing. It's just quite simply, it's only be, really been discovered by foreign investors in the last 10 to 15 years. I've been doing this over 15 years now and when we first started nobody had heard of Abruzzo. Now it's the second most popular, second to Tuscany, for overseas buyers. It's an amazing place. 
That's why I get upset when I read some comments, clearly from people that have never been here. You need to come. You need to see it. You're going to be blown away. And this property, for this price, just imagine waking up to this every morning. Not that guy banging away at the, uh, <laughs> at the wall every time I come out. Waking up to this amazing view and this huge property. Don't miss this one, folks. This is amazing. Thank you so much again for your support. And remember to join us every Thursday live on Facebook and YouTube where we discuss everything about buying a property in Italy, how we can help you buy properties outside of Abruzzo. Obviously, this is where I'm based, but we help people all over Italy. So make sure you join us on those free sessions. But most importantly, folks, do not miss this one.